The entire planet Earth is obsessed with one thing, AI agents. Everyone wants to build AI agents, but when you start, there is a confusion. Should you use this fast drag and drop approach of no code tools such as Zapier, Anit and etc to build agents before even your chai gets cold? Or should you go slowly, write code using agentic AI frameworks such as Crew AI and Langraph? Don't worry, in this video, we are going to cut through the noise and settle this debate. No code versus code agentic frameworks. Which one is right for you? The coding approach is similar to using manual mode in this DSLR camera where you get total fine grain control and you can get probably the best picture. The downside is the steep learning curve. Using no code tool is similar to shooting in auto mode where you just turn the knobs, start shooting the pictures. It is very fast, but you don't get as much control as you get in manual mode. We are going to evaluate this on four different parameters. The first one is speed. With no code tools, you can build agents in minutes by just using drag and drop. Whereas the coding approach is slow. You're going through iterations, fixing one bug after another. So the question is, why should you do coding at all? Well, that's where the second factor comes in play, which is customization. With coding tools such as Langraph, Crua, etc., you get a lot of custom control. You can build your own memory, you can fine tune the tool usage, etc. Whereas by using no code tools, you are restricted to the integrations and tools that the platform provides. The third factor is learning curve. With no code tool, there is not much significant learning curve because you're not writing any code. You're just dragging and dropping the pre-built components and connecting them to build agentic AI workflows. It is accessible and intuitive. It puts the power in the hands of people who don't have technical background, for example, business analysts, marketing folks, product managers, making them citizen developers. On the other hand, when you're using coding frameworks such as Langraph, you need to know coding in depth. Not only that, you need to also have good understanding of agentic AI principles. So when you start on that project, you have to hire an AI engineer who has all those skills. And if you don't have those skills, learning those skills is going to take some time. But at the end of the day, coding gives you a custom control. Let's say you have a legacy database that you want to connect with your agentic AI system. You can't do that with no code tool because most likely n or Zapier will not have integration for it. So you have to use Langraph, Crew AI, etc. to write your own custom code. The fourth factor is Cost. Cost is usually low when you are using no code tools initially, but when you start using that system at scale, your cost will go high because these no code tools will charge you for your usage. Whereas if you're using coding frameworks, the initial cost is higher because you are hiring AI engineers and you are paying them a big salary. But at scale, overall, it is going to be your cheaper option. And here is a metric summarizing all those four factors. So now the question is, which one should you use? Well, it depends. It depends on your goal and expertise. If you are a business analyst trying to automate a simple workflow, no coding is a way to go because that can get you up and running in minutes. But if you are an engineer building a complex product feature that is going to be used by millions of users, then coding will give you necessary control and cost optimization. In many cases, however, combining both the approaches is often the best choice. Say you are a marketing person having amazing idea to automate your marketing workflow. You can use n to build that prototype and roll it out to few users to validate your idea. And once it looks good, now AI engineer can use some code based framework to build a production grade, highly scalable system. This bridges the gap between non-tech professionals and engineers in a way that they can work together. If you want to build your first AI agent using no code tools, then here's a video link. If you want to learn coding frameworks such as Langraph and Crew AI, then I have videos for that too. Let me know in the comments which framework you're most excited to learn.